Alrighty, off we go. Into the wild blue yonder. Should be a lot of nice leaves up of this way. It's been what? It's been a while since I made a driving video, at least a week, I think. Last time I was out of the house was Sunday when I went to see my son. We went all over Gallivant and all over the place. I didn't go anywhere Monday or Tuesday at all. So, I don't remember last time I put a video up and driving, but I think it was five or six days ago anyway. So there might be some nice leaves, yeah, already see them. It's looking pretty nice. This is a different way than I normally go, but you have been this way with me before. So I'm talking pretty loud. I hope you can hear me. That's a really frustrates me, the microphones. They're so nice. They got so many good reviews and all that stuff. And how long did I have them? A couple days. Oh well, Amazon's pretty good at returns. Maybe I can, in fact, I'm not sure if UPS, maybe while I'm in town I can check on the Amazon website about returns. And I think I returned something once. Oh, I don't have the box. Never mind. Never mind. I can't return them. I didn't even bring them. The box they came in and stuff I left at home. I should have brought it with me because I think, I think the UPS store actually packages it up for you if you don't have it packaged up. I'm sure they do because I remember sending something back to Amazon and I, they packaged it up. Anyway, I got a bunch of stuff to do up here. And what else is new? Nothing. It's rainy. Drizzly rain again today, 59 degrees. It's supposed to rain all day. I'm just hitting the wipers when I need them because I don't want them squeaking. They still squeak. I got squeaky wipers no matter what I do, I guess. There's lots of cornfields up here. They call this hickory up here, like a hickory nut tree, hickory. We're up high on the mountain, heading for Dubois. It's starting to rain a little bit harder now. I'm going to have to have the wipers on a little bit more. actually have the heater on. I don't have a fan going though because it makes too much of a waste. Well, the issues I had last night and this morning, I guess it can all get better. It'll get better today. I talked to my mother last night on the phone. She's all right. I got the activities list for the nursing home. My brother took a picture of it and sent it to me. Nothing good going on at the nursing home all month. They don't have any. Nobody playing music. I always look for that because if it's that one couple, that guy and that girl, I'd go up there and, but they don't have anybody playing music this month at all. Lots of games, bingo and stuff. And then I think they have a, you know, I might go, I think one day towards the end of the month, they have a pumpkin carving something or other. 
so that'll be fun. I like to carve pumpkins. That's what I'm going to do today, too. I wrote it on my list. Got a list in my pocket. I have to, uh, I'm going to go over save a lot. Did I say that already? I got to go over save a lot. Get some onions and a couple other things while I'm there. And I'll pick up, they had a lot of nice pumpkins there the other day. What did I say they were for? Well, five bucks a piece. That's about normal. And they were nice. I wish I'd have got them the other day because they might be picked, picked clean today. But anyway, I saw my son's wife. He's, she works at the farm market down where we live. And she said, they're not getting pumpkins this year. So, wow, that's bright up out of those woods there to this clearing this is beautiful up here on top of the hill here lots of corn there on the right they ought to be uh, getting that harvested here I would think for this farmer for this farmer there's some cows down here I don't see them out though I don't see any cows out if he still has them. Oop, I don't see not a one cow. Lots of corn here to the left, too. Maybe he got rid of his cows. I heard a lot of farmers are getting rid of their cows. see a deer or something. Always looking for wild animals. So I was watching the news this morning, boy. Some of them pictures down there, that damage is just incredible. Hard to believe how the big slabs of pavement from the highway, asphalt, big chunk, thick Thick chunks just lifted right up out of the ground. House is gone. Oh, it's incredible. And they're not getting much help either from what I can what I can see. Pinball. He, he raised a bunch of money and bought some stuff and took down to some town there in Tennessee. And he just went down yesterday and they had trucks full of pellets full of food and stuff. And he said that, that on, on the video he had this morning that he talked to the state police and few other, uh, which way do I want to go? I'm going to go, I'm going to go this way. He talked to a few state police officers and they said nobody's there. No FEMA. I guess the National Guards, he said, stopped in for something. But who am I? I'm just whatever I heard this morning. I was looking for a road here. And that's not it. This is beautiful up here. These are, what are these trees? That's a beautiful tree there, the yellow. Beautiful. These ones haven't turned yet. This one's just starting, big beautiful tree there. Big beautiful tree. Got to keep looking, make sure nobody's behind me. I think, I think that road I want to take is down here further. I get confused sometimes. 
up here. I don't know why. I've been up here enough times. Strange. back the other way. Let me think when we get up here. There's a certain road I wanted to take. So I'm going to turn around up here because I should have took that one road back there. Now uh, you can stick around. Here. Beautiful here. Beautiful trees here. I'm going to do a donut right here. Quick donut. I'm going to go back the other way. This will be kind of a long video, I guess. Everybody seems to like them long, though. I'm going to go back this way on that road up here. i got to turn to the left up here. I come Every time I come up here, I get mixed up on that one road. But I'm not in a hurry. I got all day. Stewie was sleeping on the on the bed. She's got. I gave her the remote control, and she's got a tuna can of tuna opened up there. She's got full of water. A thing full of water. So she'll be all right. She had her phone plugged in, so. She got a full charge on her phone, I think. In case she's got to call me or whatever. Now there's a carpet warehouse there to the left. Which isn't a carpet warehouse anymore, but... Some nice, beautiful homes up here, too. church up here that I like. Right here to the left. Right there. Hickory Church. That's a nice church. I wonder, that's an old church. I wonder how old. I know it was there when I was a kid. So, 50 years at least, longer than that, way longer than that. turn left right here. See, I drive by this road all the time. I always forget. I'm going to take this road right here. And then this comes out on Mountain Run Road. That's the one road I usually take when I go to town. The one you're most familiar with. You know, the one where the Boy Scout camp is, that road. So this comes out there. Yeah, it's raining quite a bit now. I love days like, oh, I got the hiccups again. I love days like this. See down that farm down there in that nice view. Isn't that a nice view right there? Make a nice oil painting. If I had any talent. I bought them oil paints that time. Remember that? Quite a long time ago. I meant to talk to you about that before. I must be doing something wrong because they don't dry. I tried to paint a little picture on the canvas that I bought. And the paint never dries. So, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe there's there's no directions on the on the box or in the box or anything. Am I supposed to add something? I don't know. Is there like a hardener you're supposed to buy? This is beautiful right through here. 
beautiful scenery right through here, isn't it? I always see deer on this road. I'm going to put my window down because I'm just going slow. I hope you can hear me. It's nice and it's not bad. It's 60 out. 60 degrees. Anyway, I always see some deer on this road. Maybe we'll get lucky, I hope. Wasn't that nice right there? That's a nice picture. Picture perfect. Oh, somebody up here in fluorescent orange. Yep. Well, no fluorescent orange, but red. Not a hunter. I thought it was a hunter. But you gotta have fluorescent orange on to hunt. Beautiful place here. Like going through a tunnel. Right through there was where I want to see. I want to see. I see a lot of deer once in a while. Back through there. house. Boy, he's got a lot of mud, though. Lots of mud. Be a nice place to have a house. Nice and quiet up here. No traffic. So here we come out on Mountain Run Road. There's that church there. If you remember that? And then uh, that's where that sharp curve is up there. So we'll get out here on the highway or on the. Now we're back on Mountain Run Road. Stick around to about well, 17 minutes. Stick around till we get out on the highway. Yeah, leaves are leaves change quite a bit. Everything seems to be changing to yellow though. Not too many. Not too many other colors. Still pretty though. I think we're supposed to have rain. Pretty steady this whole week. But we're not in any danger of flood or anything. It hasn't been a downpour, just a like this all the time, drizzly and off and on. Boy, I just looked at the record button. I'd have a heart attack if it was off but not on. I did that yesterday when I was doing that ham and bean soup. I recorded a segment and didn't have the record button on. I think that's when I was putting the seasonings in there. Because I know a couple of comments said I, I didn't put any seasoning in. Well, I did, but I just didn't have the record button on. I think salt and pepper and that's about it, actually, salt and pepper.
it still needed a little salt when I was, when I ate, had a bowl to eat. So I have enough of that ham and bean soup for, that's probably what I'll eat today. Whatever's left today, there's going to be some left. I'll put in a Tupperware thing and freeze it. I'm going to make something else. Quite a few comments about the Instapot. Some of you said you wanted to get one. They are nice. I like to use that. They'll tenderize anything, too. I mean, if you can fit a turkey, a chicken in there, a big beef roast, it comes out so tender. The only problem with them is there's some nice trees. The only problem with the Instapot is it doesn't brown. It doesn't brown anything. But now they actually have a, a lid you can buy. It's an air fryer lid. So if you have an Instapot, you can get a lid that makes it an air fryer. That would be interesting. Well, we're almost out on the highway, so. I hope you all have a good, a good Wednesday. Mine's going to get better. I know it is. So I hope everybody's all right. Take care. Stay dry and stay frosty. Dale out.